Tesla bought Gen 3 will launch this November with at least four much more impressive upgrades. And this will be the final polished version that allows Optimus to complete up to 100 extended tasks per day thanks to its self-earning and imitation abilities. Elon Musk is confident it can cook daily meals or even prepare breakfast, just like a real housekeeper. This is what Elon Musk announced about the next-gen Tesla bot and other fascinating facts about Tesla's humanoid robot. We're finalizing the design of Optimus version 3, and uh, that, that really is going to be a very remarkable robot. Um, it will have the essentially the manual dexterity of a human, so meaning a like very complex hand. During the recent earnings call, Elon Musk revealed that Tesla Bot 3 is expected to launch later this year with an extraordinary design optimized for mass production. However, he didn't share exactly how it would differ from the current Gen 2. And we need to clarify one thing. The new yellow and black Optimus versions with updated arms that we've seen recently are only version 2.5, not Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk confirmed on X that we haven't shown Optimus 53 yet. It is sublime. The second two images are V2 and version 2.5. Optimus version 2.5 comes with several noticeable improvements in appearance compared to the previous version. Its outer shell has been redesigned with smoother lines. Joints are neatly covered and fewer exposed wires can be seen. The design language has shifted from a boxy look to a more rounded and softer form, giving it a friendlier appearance and making it look more like a finished product rather than a test prototype. In addition to the design changes, Optimus 2.5 is now integrated with XAI's Grow Voice Assistant. Optimus can answer questions using voice. Although the responses aren't very fast and there's still some noticeable lag, while its replies can be hesitant and a bit awkward, we believe this is still a significant step forward compared to previous versions. However, few people realize that Tesla has actually been focusing on perfecting Optimus Gen 3, which is set to be unveiled later this year. This version comes with upgrades that the Unit G1 may need several more years to catch up with. Optimus Gen 3 will be centered on expanding the useful tasks it can perform, most notably its highly impressive household capabilities, including cooking and cleaning, which are far superior to the current version. Even more remarkable, Optimus will feature an upgraded battery life, just two hours of charging for 22 hours of continuous work. Of course, its price will no longer be $20,000. To enable Optimus to cook or perform other useful tasks, Tesla has poured tremendous effort and investment into Optimus' real brain and its arms. Elon Musk recently admitted on X that one of the biggest challenges is building a dexterous hand and that mass producing thousands or even millions of these arms at scale is up to 100 times harder. Musk acknowledged that engineering Optimus is more difficult than the Model X, tougher than the Cybertruck, and even harder than building a Gigafactory, but still easier than Starship. But have you ever wondered why Tesla is pouring so much money an effort just to build a dexterous hand? According to Elon Musk, humans have evolved to look and function the way we do and everything in the world from objects and tools to our living environments has been designed for human use. So if a robot is to do everything a human can, it also needs a human-like form, especially hands, the very tools that allowed us to build the world. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that the human hand is an evolutionary marvel with over 27 degrees of freedom and a tendon-driven system controlled by forearm muscles. Much like a puppet mechanism, both powerful and precise. Thanks to our hands, humans can swing a baseball bat, thread a needle, play the piano, or assemble and disassemble a car. No other part of the body comes close in terms of versatility. If we want to create a truly general-purpose robot, the hand problem must be solved first. And just as Musk pointed out, this is exactly where most other robotics companies fail. They can build machines that walk, run, 
jump, box, or even play table tennis, but they still can't create a hand capable of peeling an orange or rinsing vegetables under running water. They fall short on the very tasks humans actually want robots to perform. We believe the easiest way to visualize Optimus' potential is to place it in the kitchen. Cooking isn't just a sequence of basic motions. It's a comprehensive real-world exam for a humanoid robot. Even a simple meal like bacon and eggs requires the robot to open the fridge, recognize ingredients, pick up an egg without breaking it, turn on the stove, handle a pan, crack the egg, add oil, stir properly, and time everything just right. Every step demands a seamless combination of dexterous hands, cognitive intelligence, and real-time action coordination. If Optimus can cook, that would mean it has truly crossed the threshold from being an industrial robot into becoming part of the human world. Compared to today's robots, the difference becomes even more striking. The robotic arms in Tesla's factories can weld car frames and attach components with incredible speed and precision, but they only perform well in fixed, pre-programmed, repetitive environments. Place them in a dynamic kitchen and they would be completely helpless, you know. But a C3PO plus R2D2 plus, you know, plus plus them, it would be pretty awesome. I think I think everyone in the world is going to want one. To understand why Optimus Gen 3 is such a turning point, let's look back at the journey of the Tesla bot. First announced at AI Day 2021, Musk's idea of a humanoid robot was mocked as nothing more than tech cosplay a person in a robot suit dancing on stage. But just a year later, at AI Day 2022, Tesla revealed a real prototype, though still clumsy. By the end of 2023 with Gen 2, the robot had already improved, walking 30% faster, folding clothes, holding an egg without breaking it, and even dancing smoothly. In 2024, Optimus began working inside Tesla factories, taking on tasks such as sorting batteries and supporting production. This year, most of Optimus training has been focused on practical value, useful tasks both in factories and in households. And next year, it is expected to handle an even wider range of surprising tasks. Probably not next year, but like in 2026, it's, it's really the kind of thing where you could tell it to do kind of a wide range of tasks. You can imagine like your own personal robot buddy uh, that is a great friend, but also takes care of uh, your house. Well, we'll clean your house. We'll mow the lawn. I uh, will walk the dog. And um, we'll teach your kids. I uh, will babysit.